भी देखते हैं जिसको हमने पढ़ना है अभी ना कि ट्री कैसे बनाया जाता है पैलोनेटिक ट्री अगर मैं इसको कर दूँ ना एनालिसिस तो बहुत बड़ा हो जाएगा पैलोनेटिक ट्री इसको कर दिया जाए सो देर आर सो मेनी एवोल्यूशनरी हिस्ट्री वी है एंड अकॉर्डिंग टू रिसर्चर समटाइम्स वी हैव द डाइवर्जेंस फ्रॉम लाइक इफ यू हैव अ रूट टू एनी पैलोनेटिक ट्री एंड दिस ट्राइंग टू ड्रा गेटेड बाय द ह्यूमन सिंपेंसी यू कैन हैव मकैक एंड अदर मंकीज हियर so after that we have rodents so these are considered as primates these are rat mouse rodents you have squirrel and etc here after that uh, we have horse elephant the lesbian that i remember we got in lesbian after that we have uh, chicken here and then we have that of apes And after that we have lizard and frog. And then we have fishes. Here we have on fishes we have small and just going to be zebra fish, considered as one of the most important order of things. Stickleback, fugo. So so many fishes we have here. In last we have a outgroup, and usually nowadays outgroup is called as cyanogen. So uh, when we are going to just uh, uh, analyze any protein or gene for phylogenetic tree, first of all, if we are just working on protein, so we have that protein sequence. So there is a gene A B C. So we just have to uh, retrieve the protein sequence of A B C gene or any other genes like D A O A. Or D R O D H, or any other gene you have. So you should just have to take the protein out from a unicode, retrieve it from unicode. After that, you have to use the blast software. So we have different types of blast, like blast M, uh, blast X, blast X, blast P. So first of all, we just we we have to know about the paralogous and arcuous protein. Paralogous and arcuous. Arcuous proteins. So when you are going to generate the tree, you should know about these terms too. In paralogous, we have paralogous proteins are those proteins that actually present in same organism but performing different functions. However, in arcuous proteins, these are those proteins that are present in different organisms but performing same functions. So if you are going to uh, generate a tree, like uh, I suppose there is, you just have an example of ABC protein. So Usually you see that there are so many uh, proteins with ABC1 in the protein family ABC2, ABC3, ABC4. Like uh, your class, I just mentioned a protein I remember as Y N, as Y N. So it's an absent protein for a neurological disease. So there are three proteins in S Y N, and I remember S Y N1, S Y N2, and S Y N3. So in actual These are this is these three proteins are in the same protein family that is you you can say that S N F Y N protein family. So when you are going to generate a tree, first of all you have to take all these proteins and separately you have to check all different organisms you choose like ten body organisms or mentioned by your supervisor or your project or your idea. So you have to take the protein of all these proteins from all these organisms. These are just one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and twelve. Thirty. Usually, people take uh, take more than fifty, forty, depends on the experiment. So, like first of all, you have to take the protein, retrieve the protein S Y N one for human chimpanzee rat mouse A B C. You can write S Y N one with it, and then you have again human S Y N two, then human S Y N three. Then you have to generate the tree. So it will be a huge tree. Then you have to analyze it. So that's the actual concept. First of all, you have to take the protein. Then you have to blast the protein. But after blast, you will have the same protein of another organism. Suppose that I am just going to blast the protein, have blast P for ABC protein, blast P for blast P for ABC protein, a uh, human retrieved from uh, utero, and then I just uh, blast this human sequence of uh, S Y N two, S Y N one again chimpanzee. 
And there are so many properties after the result that you know that there will be some similarity. There are some options like similarity, identity, e value, similarity, identity, e value, maximum score. Then after, uh, after your query and after depending on your query sequence, you have to choose one. Try to take the same, uh, same protein family that has same uh, uh, structural uh, biochemical uh, properties. So you just take a uh, protein sequence of human. After that, you have to use the same protein last P against rat. Same protein last P against mouse. Same human protein last P against horse. And you have to treat all the sequences. Similarly, then after that, you have to uh, perform the same experiment uh, for sequence retrieval with SYN2 than SYN. Three. After that, you have so many sequences. For, for one, we have 12, so for three, we have in total 26 proteins, yeah, roughly. Then you have to jump on to uh, Mega X. Now it is Mega X is working, X being 10, it's Roman one. So this software you have to use for generating the phylogenetic tree. So here the first step is uh, alignment. MegaX has two software inside embedded inside cluster W. Cluster Omega, also known as cluster, cluster Omega or cluster W or uh, ALT line as I can remember. Two softwares are there. So you just use two cluster W for align, aligning all the sequences, all the 36 sequences, you just align it. After that, you have to generate the final entry. After that, you have to generate the phylogenetic tree. So, that phylogenetic tree, you know, there are so many types of phylogenetic tree, maximum parsimony, like uh, likelihood method. So, you have to read it that which one is which one is accurately related to your experiment. So, which type of study you are going to do. So, these depends all on your literature. After that, you will have a tree. So, I am not, I'm not going uh, much deeper. I am just going to give you an overview about that. So after that you have a tree like that. Usually we have some values here like uh, 95, 99, 40, 43, 74, 77, 42, 66, 99, uh, 74, 84. <coughs> so these, these values are we also have a Mutation point, mutation here like 0 0.05. Like usually, uh, there is such a thing that usually you say just uh, if you just read some articles, you will see that there will be a uh, 35 M Y A. I will share some articles with you guys so you can study it easily. So this means 35 million years ago. So it is considered that human was diverse from chimpanzee 35 million, million years ago. So these are the values that is known as bootstrap values. Bootstrap values. So with MegaX we have to generate this bootstrap value and when you are just going to uh, generate the tree, there is an option uh, for bootstrap value, you just have to choose thousand, minimum thousand here. So what does this bootstrap value mean in actual? What does this Bootstrap value means so we are working on 4000 or maybe sometimes we can research it just between 500 depends on the uh, nature of the spider, but 1000 is the good one. So this means that these two sequences were aligned 1000 times with random sampling from this sequence. Suppose the human, uh, that human protein sequence and chimpanzee sequence. So human sequence is for 1 to 100 amino acids. And for chimpanzee, it is for 1 to 110 minus 6 volt. So, uh, so these two sequences are aligned for more than 1000 times, and every time there will be, there will be a random sampling. So, first time the software just took this one, this minus 6 number 17 as 1, and then align this one will be there. Then there will be 23, then there will be 46, then there will be 99. So, there will be random sampling from these sequences and align it. And what does this mean 95? This means that 950 times the same result appear. This means these sequences have the some evolutionary history. Similarly with 99, similarly with 99, with 990 times 
same sequence. But this is only 400 times out of 1000. Same sequence appeared, but after alignment. So we can have some doubt that maybe there is some problem here. So here we have another concept of uh, speciation and duplication. Spe speciation and duplication. So in duplication, the genes just duplicates, right? FYN2 duplicates, suppose there will be one suspect known as FYN1 by 2, and then it just duplicated to FYN and FYN, FYN2. But in speciation, the same gene, suppose FYN just moved to human and chimpanzee at the same time. So here we have speciation. Here we have speciation. That this gene just moves to two different species. However, at this point, yes, at this point we have duplication. Like some gene here, no evidence. Some gene here, so maybe some organism in past or in evolution there was, but we don't know about that a million of years back. So after that, there will be another speciation. Here is also a duplication here. After that, we have speciation here and there. However, here also speciation. This one is duplication, this one is duplication. Where the gene node where the gene just duplicates. Here we have another concept of mark function and that that's what we'll just skip that. So here we have another concept of mark function and that's what we just skip that. So uh, this is the concept of speciation and duplication. When uh, that, then we have here 43, so it means that's only 40, 430 times out of power. So minimum 65 values should be acceptable. Suppose if I just remove 72, uh, okay, I just remove 66 from here and just write 13 here. It means from 1000 times we just perform the bootstrap value. However, we just have 130 times same sequence. At almost 970 times we don't have the same sequence. So this means there is some problem with these two sequences. We have to change our sequences. We have to we have to change these sequences or we have to uh, uh, align these sequences again or we have to skip one or we just uh, choose some wrong data. There will be some human error. So we have to fix that one. So 65 is the acceptable value if you want to generate the tree. After that you have to check that these are the same sequence. Like first we have primates like human, chimpanzee, macaque, orangutan, rabbit, monkey and etc. After that we have here uh, rodents like rat, mouse, squirrel, and ape, etc. The, the rodent animals. After that we have fox, cow, elephant, these types of animals here. Then we have chicken. And here we have birds like zebra fish, etc. After that we have reptiles like uh, li the lizard and frog. After that fishes and salmon. And if there will be suppose uh, rat appears here. Suppose if we have rat and mouse here. After birds. And here we have uh, fish. Suppose. So we will consider this as a wrong because this should be in alignment and the structure just prove that. So you have to change the sequences, you have to cross verify the sequences that you retrieve from Unicode or any other software or error. So Unicode is considered as a good database for protein sequences. You can also uh, go for uh, you know long browsers, ensemble, ensemble, UCSC. You see as a genome browser. If you can, if you know how to use that, you can uh, retrieve the sequences from there. So, and, uh, as I remember, the updated form of Ensemble also created some uh, phylogenetic tree for you, so you can uh, understand it easily. Then we have this value. This is our uh, point duration value. Sometimes it is 0 0.05, sometimes it is 0 0.01. This means that how much percent mutation occurs in history in according to this tree. And you always have to read the tree from left to right, not from up to down, not from uh, down to up. You always have to read the tree from left to right. If I will generate a clear tree for reading, it should be like some. Human. Chimpanzee. Short for uh, learning. Suppose we have horse, cow, and here we have uh, therapies. 
then we have the styles for frog or lizard maybe and then we have fishes like fugo then we have output output is very much important so if you don't have output then you don't know who will be the ancestor from where the evolution starts in actual here we have like this type of drawing locations here we have some bootstrap value so we have to read the tree from left to right like first of all there will be a out group sign up and after that here we have the gene so this is the gene s y n 1 so the gene were here after that there will be a duplication here it have this stuff there will be a duplication so gene came here with s y n and here also after that we have a speciation at this position and this gene just diverged from two just moved into two, two different species here we have again duplication here and here we have speciation speciation here we have again duplication the gene duplicate can be one to one one of its copy here and another copy this at this position after that we have speciation here so you have to read the tree from left to right not from up to down or down to up so you have to read always read it from left to right sometimes we just try to read it from up to down for our understanding only however you have to read it from left to right so you have to check the sequence of the uh, animal or organisms you are going to choose you have to be very careful uh, for choosing the uh, sequences it is very much important that we sequence you are going to use usually people are not part of person students at that stage they just have a sequence of s y n 1 for human protein sequence after that no blast just take the sequence of chimpanzee the first one usually first one rat first one mouse so there will be some problems usually it cause problem more than 70% it cause problem sometimes it works but usually it makes problems so first of all you have to choose the sequence of s y n 1 then you have to choose then you have to check the protein family s y n 2 s y n 3 or how many proteins you are going to suppose some, some proteins some families have so many proteins some families have 30 proteins so you cannot handle this big tree so you can choose only 3 or 2 uh, members of that family depending on the experiment or nature of your experiments after that you have to take the human sequence of s y n 1 after that you just blast you just use the, you have to perform the blast software blast key against chimpanzee or for uniplot or for any genome database so depending on the nature of your experiment then you have this sequence after that same with this same you use the same for everyone <coughs> then you have to align it with the help of cluster w t copy at the line so anyone you can use for that one then you have to just generate the tree maximum uh, parsimony method or likelihood method depending on the experiment. So these these, uh, these things you have to clear by with your iterator or depends what you are what you want. After that you have a tree, you just perform the bootstrap value, then you have to analyze the tree and then you have to discuss the tree. Then you have to write the discussion of that tree. So what is happening in this tree? What adaptive evolution you just have to uh, you just have to present the audience. Suppose we have nowadays COVID-19. So the software, the virus is SARS-CoV-2. Before that there was SARS-CoV. Then there was MERS. Okay. So these three genomes usually people just analyze. Usually people just try to uh, check the adaptive evolution of uh, these three genomes or the specific protein of these three genomes that what is happening, what changes happen so these two are not much uh, these, sorry, these two are not much deadliest it was happened in the past something happened but this one is more deadliest as compared to these two as I remember Merck was in 2012 some, some uh, almost 9 years back however we know about that but there was no so much that 